Hey guys, Dr. Sill here, junior doctor from Sydney, Australia. So, you or someone you know has been prescribed uh, valdoxin or agomelatin. This video is a bit of an overview where I tell you everything I think you need to know. Let's get started. So agomelatin presents a novel way of treating depression and anxiety disorders. Um, through kind of resynchronizing, rebalancing the circadian rhythm of people who suffer from the illness. It does this by binding to the melatonin 1 and 2 receptors and inhibiting the um, serotonin 2C, the 5-HT2C receptors. This kind of unique profile of mechanism of action means that it has its own unique way of treating um, uh, you know, depression and anxiety. It, it's, it's off label for anxiety, it's more for depression, but um, people have found it to be beneficial in both. Uh, which means that if one of the other medications didn't work for you or someone you know, then maybe this one will. How long does it take to work? Well, you know, antidepressants always take at least a month. But you should find some effect on your sleep within the first week of use. You should find that you, you sleep better or fall asleep better uh, within one week of regular use. But after a month, you should see some kind of effects, especially on better sleep, more daytime alertness, um, and better mood. Uh, yeah, usually after months, but uh, and that could be sustained for years in some trials, but uh, what uh, seems to happen is that it's not a cure. So if people stop the medication, they're at risk of redeveloping uh, symptoms again. Now this is, you know, this is mental health. There is no medication that works for everyone uh, with 100% efficiency or efficacy. So this might not work for you. Um, if it doesn't, you might need a dose change and you might just be treatment uh, resistant and you need to work with your healthcare provider to either change or increase the dose. There are options to augment um, this with another pharmacotherapy, another drug. <clears throat> um, and, uh, and that has to be done in, co in consultation with your doctor. Um, but I think the key thing to, to also remember is that uh, you can't treat mental illness with drugs alone. You know, drugs give you a good pair of shoes, but you still need to walk up the mountain. And that walking is psychotherapy. So it's always drugs plus psychotherapy in my book. So um, you should be combi combining this with, uh, you know, meetings with a psychologist to do, uh, you know, CBT or whatever you need, whatever the psychologist thinks is indicated to, to address your symptoms. A big thing to look out for whenever starting any kind of depression or anxiety uh, management or, or medication is, is symptoms of mania uh, and suicidal ideation and, and becoming activated. What I mean by that is becoming anxious, alert, neurotic, uh, irritated, um, you know, you know, really aroused um, uh, because if it could, it, you know, so, some of these medications uh, can trigger manic states in people who have bipolar disorder but haven't been diagnosed. So some people, you know, have looked like they've had depression their whole life, but really it's a bipolar disorder, which is a different illness that looks like depression, but they just haven't had their first manic episode or their first manic episode wasn't captured in, in the history or something. So um, and you don't want to have another manic episode. Manic episodes are bad, so you don't want to trigger that with the medications. And it's possible that um, you know medications like this can trigger a manic episode in people who are um, incorrectly diagnosed or not yet diagnosed with the correct illness. So that's just something to be very aware of. That if you find your you know yourself going down what looks like a manic episode, you need to talk to your doctor. You know the same day. Now, agomelatin, very effective medicine, but it is metabolized in the liver with that CYP uh, enzyme system, the 1A2, um, the CYP 1A2 enzyme, uh, which means uh, a couple things. Uh, first of all, since it's metabolized in the liver, there are a very small number of people who have, who have had uh, hepatitis develop, so an inflammation of the liver, and, uh, and so you do need regular liver function tests as blood tests, um, and you can do that with your primary care provider, like your GP or your, your family physician. The other thing is if you're taking other medicines that are metabolized by the same enzyme, uh, it can affect the concentration of one or both of the, the medications. So you need to work with your doctor um, to make sure that you don't have any other medications that could interact with this medicine. 
Now this liver stuff is very rare, much more commonly you can get nausea, um, diarrhea, dizziness, and, and these side effects are minor and, will, and usually pass with time. And remember, just because you're getting mild side effects from medication, doesn't mean you need to stop straight away if they're mild, because you have to compare the side effects of the medication to the side effects of not taking the medication. Uh, and, and so if it's a, a bit of diarrhea that lasts three or four days and ends resolving, um, don't just stop the medication. Talk to your doctor about what to do if that happens and um, maybe the best decision is to continue because it'll get better. If though the um, side effects are intolerable, then uh, you might just have to change antidepressant. And I, I guess I say that in a blase way and I'm sorry about that. I guess it, it is a pain to change uh, um, antidepressants because they take so long to have an effect. And um, luckily with agomelatin, you can just stop it. Uh, you don't need to taper it down. Uh, some other medicines you do need to taper down. So always double check all this with your doctor. Um, this is not medical advice. You should not be going to YouTube for medical advice. If you need medical advice, go see your doctor. I guess the biggest take home point here is that this is the medicine that acts on the melatonin system, which means you want to take it at night. Melatonin is the hormone that is released to, that makes you feel sleepy when um, when there is no blue light and it's released by your pineal gland. And, and so when, you know, at the end of the day, the, the sun goes down and, and, and it's in, you're in darkness, you know, not anymore, but evolutionarily speaking, uh, these days you're on your phone, which you shouldn't be, but whatever. Uh, yeah, evolutionarily speaking, when the sun goes down, it's dark. Then that, that triggers your eyes, which triggers your pineal gland to release um, melatonin, which makes you feel sleepy. And yeah, so I think the best, and the final point to make is that there's very little um, sexual side effects and symptoms with agomelatin. So, um, which is fantastic because a lot of people struggle with uh, some of the other classes like the serotonin reuptake inhibitors um, often can have some kind of sexual side effects. <clears throat> so if you've uh, tried one of them, you should talk to your doctor. I mean, if you've tried an SSRI and, then, and you've had sexual side effects or other intolerable side effects, this is a good other option to talk to your doctor about. Um, but you know, this isn't medical advice. Talk to your doctor. I'm just a junior doctor. Uh, yeah, so, so do your due diligence. Uh, this is just to give you a bit more uh, context around some of the medications that you may have been prescribed. And that is it for this video. Have an absolutely lovely day, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. If you like this video, please subscribe, by the way. That helps the channel grow.